Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you're ready for another Magic Review, because that's what I do, that's what I do. Every single day, Monday through Friday, I open up a Magic Trick, and I tell you exactly what your money gets you. That's my job, right? I get this stuff sent to me for free. I'm blessed because of it. I'm very fortunate, very lucky, but I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna show you the contents. I'm gonna show you the contents nice and up close in HD and uh, tell you exactly what you get, right? Because if you're gonna drop 38 bucks for something, you should know what comes in the box, right? You should know how long the tutorial is, what tricks you're gonna learn, the quality of the item. You should be able to get all the facts so that you could make up your own mind. No more magic in drawers, right? I hate buying a trick and then thinking to myself, this isn't what I thought, right? This isn't what I wanted, or this isn't gonna work for my character. So keep coming back here Monday through Friday and I'll help you out. Hit like, sub, follow, push those buttons, okay? Today, we're gonna look at Anything to Matchbox by Axel Vergnad and Magic Dream Paris. What is anything to Matchbox? Uh, it's a utility, basically, all right? So this is a magic utility that is a switching device. So it looks like a harmless everyday matchbook, right? A uh, matchbox, the kind of the drawer that pops out, right? The sleeve on the outside that has the strike plates and then the drawer that, that goes through, the, through, goes through the, the sleeve. No matches. Okay, no matches included, and there's also no working strike plates on the sides. You could get uh, stick-on strike plates through Amazon or maybe through a, a camping supply store if you wanted them to actually work to be real matchbooks, but right now they're just printed on. And uh, you're gonna get two. So when you spend 38 bucks at Magic Dream Paris, you're gonna get two matchbooks. One is completely real, completely legit, you could hand it out for examination if you did a switch. The second one is completely gimmicked. And what it'll enable you to do is either show the box empty and then with a shake it's full or place an item into the box, give it a shake, and when you slide the drawer back out, it's changed. So this works in appearance like the magic drawer that sometimes comes in magic kits the little plastic drawer where you pull it out, it's empty, you close it, you pull it back out again and it's full. But it works differently than that. It's not the same gimmick, but it has the same appearance, same look. But it shouldn't look like that to the spectator. To the spectator, it should look like something just magically appeared in there or something magically changed. So when you get this, like I said, you'll get two matchbooks, one that's examinable, one that's gimmicked, you'll also get two extra sleeves. So you'll get one set of sleeves for a hotel and you'll get a second set of sleeves that are yellow and more decorative. And um, that's just for your preference. You wanna just pick the one that works best for you and your character. In addition to that, you're gonna get the download, right? The tutorial, which is 43 minutes long. And it's Axel and the host of Magic Dream Paris. They're in the Magic Dream Paris studio and they're gonna walk you through, I believe, five different tricks. And really, once you watch the performances, you'll pretty much know how they're done because all you have to do is figure out how the gimmick works. And once you know how the gimmick works, the ending of every single trick is gonna be the same. Something goes into the matchbox and it changes or something goes into the matchbox or nothing goes into the matchbox and something appears there, okay? So the very first trick they're gonna teach you is a card to impossible location where any card is selected and signed you'll do a tiny little ambitious card routine and it's gonna end with their signed card folded inside of the matchbook. The second one is a torn and restored card. So a card is selected, torn into quarters, placed into the box, the box is shook, and when you reopen it, the card has been restored. The third trick is a serial number divination where you borrow a bill, you put the bill into the matchbook, you divine the number, pull it back out and the numbers match. The next one is a drawing to reality uh, where you're gonna hand them a piece of paper that's the same size as a dollar bill. You're gonna have them draw a dollar bill. 
They fold it, put it into the box, and it changes into a real bill. And then the last one is called double writing, and it's a little one ahead uh, slash one behind uh, three question trick where uh, you have a prediction and the prediction's inside the box. They're also gonna give you some other additional ideas and some other recommendations, and of course, there's an outro. Pocket space, you really only need the one matchbook, right? If you're fine with not handing it out and not doing a switch, you really only need the one, and it's roughly the same size as a regular matchbox. It's a little bigger, right? I think a regular small matchbox really wouldn't fit a folded card, or it would, but it'll be a little tight. This is a little big, it's a little exploded, but should just fit in your pocket. It's really cardboard, it's really just made like a real matchbook, so it should pass inspection. And like I said, if you wanted to dress it up and put the strike plates on the side, I mean, go for it, right? Otherwise, it's just gonna be a brown strip on the side that's decorative. But there is one effect in the tutorial where they do light a match, the torn and restored one, they do light a match on the side of it, so that would require an additional purchase. But yeah, it's pretty small. Uh, like I said, you couldn't examine it though. Can't be examined unless you do a switch. But you, you, you shouldn't base your purchases off whether everything can be examined. If your spectators are constantly asking you to see your props, then you're not creating a good sense of trust with your spectator, and that's something you'll need to work on. Um, you shouldn't be handing out every single prop to be examined, okay? Don't, that, don't, don't worry about it. I, I'm not, I haven't, I haven't been asked to examine the matchbook, so I, don't worry about it. Angles wise, it's just a fast little switch. You're gonna use this kind of motion to disguise what you're really doing. And you know, w once you learn it, y you'll probably figure out your own fun way to do it. You could probably even do some sort of variation on the paddle move. That would probably also work too. And uh, slights and difficulty level, like the hardest trick was the ambitious card, you know, and, and doing the, the Erdnase fold. That's probably the hardest uh, trick on the entire project. Everything else is super easy and beginning level entry. Positives, all right, so what are the positives? It's a fun little prop. It is a fun little prop. And if you've ever liked the magic drawer that comes with a magic kit, but then felt like it's a little too kid, you know, it's a little too beginner, a little too novice, it's usually big and plastic and brightly colored. This is small cardboard and is disguised as a matchbox. So it keeps everything in the realm of normal, right? But it still enables you to do the same style of effect. Um, the only negatives really with this was the fact that um, they didn't make the matchbox real, right? It doesn't have the real strike plates on the side. and. I mean, they, they could have just made it generic and just written like lucky strike matches or blue, you know, blue head matches or made some sort of generic instead of making it for a specific hotel or making it the yellow cartoony. I think graphically it'd been a much easier or I don't know if easier, but it would have been more universal. But I think the reason why they include the yellow one is so that there's no language on it. So if you were in another country and people spoke a different language, then you have the yellow one, you know, so that there's no, there's no conflict there. But definitely watch some other reviews, read some of the forums and see if this is gonna work for you. That's anything to Matchbox, Magic Dream Paris, 38 bucks, 38 bucks. And uh, big huge thanks to Magic Dream Paris for allowing me to have it so I could do the review for you. I'll see you guys next time, bye. Over 600 videos, there are over 600 hundred videos in the Magic Orthodoxy membership section right now, and you can have access to all of it. What's the member section? What's in there? Well, more reviews. Every week, you're gonna get two more reviews. These are tricks that I purchase with my own money every single week, two extra videos. That means you'll have access to eight extra videos a month. There's also gonna be head-to-head -head battles where I pit two tricks against each other. You're gonna see all the unboxings, so you'll see all the tricks that are purchased. You'll see what's coming up way before anybody else. I'm gonna walk you through my EDC several times a year. I'm gonna to talk to you about which routines I'm building with the tricks I purchase, and you'll even get access to tutorials. That's right, I'll even teach you magic. And there's two ways to join, two ways to join. You can first, you can enter in at only $2 a month with The Faithful. As a member of The Faithful, you'll get access to two videos a week 
That's eight extra videos a month. Or you can join the inner circle for $4.99 a month. That'll give you access to three videos a week. And the tutorials are there in the inner circle. That's 12 videos a month. How do you join? Right down in the bottom of this video, there should be a square button that says join. You just click that. If you can't find the join button, you can access the link that is in the video description below. Click that, it'll take you to another menu. There you'll get to select whether you wanna join as a faithful member or the inner circle, and then you'll start to enjoy those 600 videos. 600 videos right away. Stay as long as you want, stay a member as long as you want, or cancel at any time. This is just another uh, way that I make content available to you because I enjoy giving back and I enjoy each and every one of you as a follower. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.